I'm sitting here with Melanie Tuck from uh, Collegiate Sports Medicine, and we are here to ask her a few uh, questions about relating fitness to um, athletic therapy and physiotherapy. So, first question, Mel. Uh, what are the benefits of exercising while using your services, whether that is physiotherapy or athletic therapy? <laughs> um, that's a great question, uh, Brooke. Basically, we find that um, whether you're exercising uh, or not exercising, um, a lot of athletes came in, you know, because they were active and had an injury, and um, you know, definitely incorporating exercise uh, into the program, you know, as a part of their program, actually does help them to get better. So, um, as you go through um, an injury, um, kind of whether it's rehab or um, you know, even prevention programs, we look at in incorporating exercise as a component because it is in itself therapy, exercise is. Um, we, we know that normalizing tissue, stretching, strengthening, trying to regain balance in whether it's biomechanics or, um, you know, sometimes a shoulder injury will come into the clinic and, you know, maybe it stemmed from a low back injury because they weren't rotating properly through their lumbar spine. And so, you know, we incorporate, you know, core stability exercises, uh, cardiovascular exercises in both the physiotherapy and athletic therapy treatments to try to regain normal shoulder function. So it's just a one example, but but the whole idea of having exercise be um, kind of, I guess, there or not in the background, you know, we know that definitely there's an increased metabolism, an increased you know, psychological, you know, sense of being healthy and, you know, self-esteem and even just kind of your capability to have a positive outlook and sleep better, which all helps people recover from their injury. So I don't know if I answered the question well, but that's, you know, there's just so many ways that, uh, that, it's, that it's helpful and, and beneficial to the, the overall picture. Perfect. Um, if someone was to come to you with an injury who has been exercising uh, versus someone who hasn't been exercising, how much faster is their recovery process with your services? Um, well, often if a person has been exercising already, then the body in general is going to be used to having muscle soreness or I guess not be prone to have muscle soreness from doing new exercises that we give them. Um, so a part of the rehab process for someone that hasn't been exercising can sometimes just be a little bit longer because their muscles aren't adapted to exercise yet. So they'll have some soreness that comes with strength training or stretches that they haven't been used to um, that somebody that maybe was exercising doesn't really have to, to go through that. Their, their body is already conditioned. The other thing is that when you exercise, whether it's aerobic um, exercise or strengthening, um, the muscles have a lot uh, a greater aerobic capacity, which means there's a lot more circulation right embedded into the muscle tissue, so microcirculation, bringing oxygen into the, into the muscle level. And so that's already there in somebody that's been exercising. And so your recovery from exercise is better, uh, and your changes are a lot faster when you're trying to make, you know, make new changes. So um, re your recovery um, is, you know, is, is I, I don't want to say night and day, but I would say kind of night and day difference uh, between somebody that hasn't been exercising. But still, we would incorporate exercise in uh, and into a program for somebody that hasn't been. Uh, they might just find that the progressions are a little bit slower. Uh, we don't, we can't progress people as quickly through their rehab um, because they're going to have a lot of muscle soreness and so forth from having been sedentary prior. So, um, but it is still a part of the, their recovery either way. So, okay. Um, last question. A lot of people tend to feel that they should stop exercising when they get injured. Do you feel that they should ever completely stop exercising, or is some type of movement overall a good thing? Um, yeah, again, I think even just some of the stuff we were just chatting about kind of explains that as well, um, about how full body exercise and being able to stay active, uh, really can, you know, help in so many ways. So let's again, you know, pick on a body part specifically, maybe you have a knee injury or knee surgery. Um, if you become really sedentary after you've had that injury, uh, a lot of things happen. One is you become really bummed because you've been maybe really working hard and, and working with a team or, um, you know, just training. And the whole air area of fitness and, and exercise has been taken away from you because now you're, you know, quote unquote injured. And so having knee surgery or, or something, you know, you, you get into this mindset of, of just really almost going through a state of depression, truthfully. And so, you know, if a person can realize that that other body parts do work as well, and um, then it 
you know, whether it's using, you know, arms or even doing just, you know, upper extremity strength training or uh, being able to get on to, um, you know, a modified exercise program. And the personal trainer can easily set that up for someone. And then from there, um, you know, their, their overall wellness and, and kind of mental health is, is a, like, first of all, it's a huge part of the healing process because of the way stress can, you know, influence our healing. Um, so, so exercise will help that, um, you know, as opposed to somebody that, that doesn't, it can have a huge negative impact. Um, you know, they're depressed, they're sedentary, they don't have the same um, cardiovascular uh, benefits that you get from even being able to have, you know, just a little bit of cardio. Um, and then, of course, there's just the overall increase in metabolism that, that occurs with, with being able to do something and the changes to your lymphatic system and how, you know, it flushes fluid. So it'll actually help the knee by doing something with the upper extremity, um, you know. And so it's, again, there's absolutely no comparison to the, the person, both mentally and physically, with their recovery by being able to stay active versus becoming sedentary after. And uh, the mental part may be even more important than the physical, truthfully. It's, it's so hard to watch people just, you know, sit back. Perfect. Okay, we'd like to thank Melanie Tuck um, from Collegiate Sports Medicine for uh, her time and interview today. Thanks, Mel. Thanks, Brooke.